Okay, so Pearl and I are doing a little bit, having a little bit of fun, and we are going to make a few things in our thermomixes. They're quick, easy things. Um, the well, doesn't matter. We can choose whichever order you like. I'm not going to tell Pearl which order I'm doing mine in, because then she'll she'll have a, a heads up. But we're going to make um, we're going to grate Parmesan cheese. We're going to make breadcrumbs. We're going to do the topping for a pizza Bianca, which is garlic and rosemary. And then we're going to make the immune boosting juice. So in the challenge, it actually said lemonade, but I figured immune boosting juice is a good one to do um, at the moment with COVID around the place. So when it comes to that, there will be a little bit of noise. Um, so you won't be able to hear us talking at all. Uh, so are you ready to go, Pearl? Yes, I'm with the, against the champion. So let's see. Oh, the champion, no, I don't know about the champion. <laughs> Single win. But, but um, you had the two bowls and yeah. we all, hang on, I'll turn my machine on first. I can't give you that much of a head start. So mine is turning on here. Um, yep, and so I have my bread ready to go. I have a little bit of cheese ready. To, yeah, cheese ready to go. My cheese is ready to go. I have my um, garlic and um, rosemary ready to go. And I've got lemon. Uh, some of my, I've uh, got my lemons and my um, ginger ready for my immune boosting juice. Just got to add the water and the honey. Have you weighed your honey, Pearl? Yeah, no, I'm just going to put it there. Yeah, me too. Me too. Okay, good. All right then. Ready, set, go. You can see how long we, we do each one for. She's winning. So that's my breadcrumbs. There you go. What did you do first, Pearl? Garlic. I've done the garlic and rosemary. Ah. And I'm doing the parmesan. Yeah. Parmesan's going in next. <laughs> It's quicker than me anyway. Because I have got two bowls, I don't have to wash the parmesan. Oh. I can use the next bowl. Well, I just thought I just thought this through a little bit, and I thought I would. Um, I probably didn't have to wash between the dry ones, but I will obviously between the other ones. So, so I've just done my parmesan next. Then I'm just going to cheat a little bit and have a little bit of cheese in, in here because it doesn't matter if it's going on a pizza bianca. Who cares? So I've got my um, garlic and my rosemary going in. My garlic and rosemary, I don't know if you can see that, but that's looking good. Oh my God, she's on the juice already. I'm on the last one, Mandy. Oh my goodness. That's because you've got the two bowls, exactly as you said. So uh, I don't have okay. to wash anything? No, I'm going to have to wash this one now. Oh, good. All right. So I've got my pizza Bianca topping there too. Now I've got to wash my bowl. Oh my goodness. 
So I'm putting a little bit extra honey in because I reckon it needs a bit more honey, this one. Okay, so mine is done. Just strain my juice. And I'm still going. I haven't even started it. Putting a lot of honey in there. Now you had the issue of washing and the bowl. I didn't mm. have that. Mm. Honey is good. All right. So now I'm going to blitz for two minutes. She says. All right. was standing here waiting for that to happen when I could see Pearl was actually enjoying hers already. <laughs> yeah, I, I even tasted my juice. Yeah, fantastic. Nice. So um, so I reckon you finished probably, I know you've been strained, so I don't strain mine, I just drink it. Um, but that's, that's all right, you were following the recipe. So I would still have that step to do. Um, the other thing I do as well, because the honey's quite thick, I actually... It's just a general tip here. I actually put it on for another um, 30 seconds on 37 degrees because that just means that the honey all mixes in. But that's just me. So I reckon you probably finished, if you if you took it to where I am now, um, a good four or five minutes before me. Or maybe even more, Mandy. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, what I want to do now is I want to go on to see if um, anyone's put anything on um, the... Uh, board that I set up there. Let's just see if it's worked. Oh, yes. Hang on. Yes, they have. The benefits of the second bowl and blade set. Okay. Forgot to grate the cheese. Absolutely. Cook faster like Master Chef Pearl. Forgot to make the art. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Before starting a recipe. So, yeah, that's one of the great things is you, you, you start a recipe and then you, um, you suddenly realise that you had something else you had to do. So it's always good to have the second one. To help with cross-contamination with allergies, absolutely. That was Wendy, I'm sure. Swap bowls to reduce cleaning, save time when waiting for ingredients to cook or rest. One in the dishwasher. Brilliant. Thanks, team. All right. So that was just a little comparison to, um, to show you how much time you can save and Obviously, um, having a Thermomix and being used to having one in my kitchen, I wouldn't really be standing there twiddling my thumbs. I would have gone off and done something else. But I could have got a lot more done more, more quickly um, if I'd had a second bowl. Thanks, Pearl. No worries.